Hi everybody, Ryan here with Outdoor Matters. Today I'm bringing you our long-term test and review of the Blue Weddy EB55. It's a fusion of their AC50S and EB70 lines. It uses a smaller form factor of the AC50S with all the upgraded internals of the EB70, though it does improve upon both. I've had this device for a few months now and I've put it through its paces, both in workshop testing and in real-world environments. I'm ready to give my final verdict. The EB55 uses a lantern-style light and smaller footprint of the AC50S, with the upgraded internals of the EB70. It has 537 watts of capacity and utilizes lithium iron phosphate batteries, which provide 2500 plus full life cycles to 80% capacity. It has a maximum output of 700 watts with a 1400 watt surge and can be charged at up to 400 watts. Inside, you will get the Blue Eddy EB55 itself, the standard instruction booklet and warranty information, the 200 watt power brick, which comes with a fan inside and utilizes a barrel plug, a 12 volt car plug, and an MC4 solar adapter. It has two sets of DC banks. The first controls three 12 volt, 10 amp outlets, two barrel plugs, and one cigarette lighter style plug. The second bank controls a 15 watt wireless charging pad on top, one USB-C 100 watt plug capable of charging even the most power hungry devices at full speed, and four lower power USB-A plugs. The AC bank has four plugs, two three prongs and two two prongs. The major change from the EB70 is actually the input, which now has the same AC charging plug, but has split off the secondary charging plugs to XT60F adapters next to it. This means that you can concurrently charge the EB55 from AC and your car or solar panel at up to a theoretical input of 400 watts. Though in reality, in my testing, with my car I get about 330, or with solar I get about 360. The amp limit does make it hard to get to that true 400 watt input. This dual charging, while neat, isn't much of a difference for me as I strive to never charge from AC and only power my devices purely from solar, though that may be different for your use case. On a clear day, I was able to charge directly from solar at 160 watts. I used my Blue Eddy SP200 200 watt solar panel for that test. They have also improved the LEDs that they are using in the buttons, which was a complaint about the first set of EB70s, though that issue has also been resolved in that line. To test the capacity of the EB55, I used it to charge an EB70. It charged at 230 watts per hour from full to empty, and in that time, with the inverter loss and part of the battery being reserved to protect it, I pulled 466 of the 537 total watts. That's a respectable 87% of the usable battery power. So is this device a worthy replacement for the AC50S, or a true competitor at the 500 watt device level? Absolutely. The EB55 works exceptionally well and I've had no problems with it. I've used it to run my DC fridge for road trips, power playdates in the park and campgrounds in the woods, and to run my rain barrel pumps to water the yard. I highly recommend it to anybody to keep your devices or camp running indefinitely, paired with a good solar panel. I prefer the SP200, but there's a lot of good options available. I'll leave my overview of the current solar panel market below with my review of the SP200. I've had several people ask me what the best Blue Weddy product in this ballpark is between the AC50S, EB55, and EB70. I think you can clearly count out the AC50S unless you were to find it at a really enticing price point. It has a lower output, but more importantly, the battery chemistry isn't nearly as good. Lithium iron phosphate is just clearly superior. Between the EB55 and EB70, that's a harder choice and more of just a preference. The EB55 has a better lamp, it can charge faster, and it has a smaller footprint. The EB70 has an extra 100 watt USB-C and 200 watts more storage. Both are great devices and either one would do well for you. I'd make your decision based upon how much power you think you will need for your adventures, or blackouts, or whatever you're doing with these. Is 537 watts enough, or do you need a bit more of a buffer? Would you ever charge two high power laptops at once? Or would you prefer a smaller and lighter device? You really can't go wrong either way. Looking across the current market of 500 watt-ish devices, I can't find anything better. This price point, battery chemistry, and functionality are simply unbeatable. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.